Hi, and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. So something exciting has happened in the last few days over in the world of HackRF and Porterpack, and that's the release of Mayhem version two. Now version two brings a whole new way in which you can manage the apps on your Porterpack device, along with making firmware updates at the click of a button. And one of the biggest changes is that the Porterpack apps are now stored on the SD card, meaning more apps can be developed and stored on the device without the Porterpack storage limitations when the apps were stored on the device itself. We now have a working USB serial interface while in Porterpack mode, along with a new set of USB serial commands. To make use of these new USB serial commands, a new website has been launched, hackrf.app which will connect directly to your HackRF through the USB serial and a supported browser. But this has to be a Chromium based browser such as Chrome. This new connection brings features such as remote screens, remote file access directly to the SD card, one click firmware updates and remote control, all via the USB serial connection from your browser. To get all these new features, you will need at least version two of Mayhem. And to update your portal pack to version two, you'll need to download the appropriate files. Now, upgrading and performing a fresh install follows the same procedure. First, you'll need a FAT32 formatted SD card, which will install the required files, maps, and applications from this file that we download from the GitHub page. You also need the firmware archive too. Now, once you've downloaded these two archives, uncompress them. Then copy the files for the SD card to the root folder of a blank SD card. Once copied, just place that SD card into the Porterpack SD card slot. Then we need to update the firmware. Navigate to the firmware folder that you downloaded and make sure that your HackRF and Porterpack is connected to the computer via the USB cable. Then just double click on that flash Porterpack Mayhem Windows batch file. You'll then be presented with this window, so just press any key to continue and the HackRF should be detected and the firmware will be updated. Now, if this is successful when you've upgraded to version two, you'll never have to use this process to update the Porterpack firmware again. So now just unplug the USB cable from your computer and then plug it back in again. Now, if you navigate to your device manager screen, you'll now see a new virtual COM port. This is the HackRF, something that we did not get in previous versions of Mayhem. And why is this important, I hear you ask? Well, you can now navigate to hackrf.app within a Chromium-based browser. When you click the green Connect Device button, you'll see the HackRF serial port appear in this window. Now select it and then just click Connect. Your browser will then be directly connected to your portal pack and you'll see a live screen appear like this. Now the screen only refreshes when you press a button or press the refresh button. So it's not frame by frame live, but you can still navigate the portal pack screens from here. You'll also notice below the live screen a folder structure, which is the live contents of the SD card on the portal pack. Now below the folder structure window, you'll see a blue manage firmware button. This is where you can update your portal pack to the latest version of firmware, including the nightly builds directly from your browser. So no more needing to download files and run batch files. You simply use a USB cable and this website, hackrf.app. Now as mentioned earlier, you can live view the screen, which only updates when you press a button or press that little refresh button, but you can still control the portal pack controls just by clicking the mouse and using the little arrow buttons on the screen. Another feature which works very well is an application found in utilities called SD over USB. And when you click this and then tap the run button on the port pack, after a few seconds, the SD card within the port pack will become available as a USB drive, which makes updating, adding or removing apps from the port pack a lot more streamlined without the need to physically remove the SD card, put it into a computer just to update the apps. Now, I know this isn't going to be radio related, but someone has ported Pac-Man and Tetris to the portal pack. Now, I believe this is really for proof of concept to show what can be done with the portal pack running Mayhem version two. Having the extra storage space for applications makes developing without any storage limitations. Now, lastly, if we head over to the settings tab, we now find improved options, 
to change things like encoder dial, user interface, colors, and brightness. Now, this is definitely the most exciting update to Mayhem we've seen so far. And a massive thank you to all those involved in putting this firmware together. I'm sure there's been many hours, days, months spent on perfecting this firmware. Now, if you're a developer yourself and have an idea for an app, they do provide information on how to get started in developing. So just head over to that GitHub wiki page and you'll find out more information. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you've learned something. And until the next video, stay safe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.